and I am back. Welcome to a bit of Fallout 3 Teletal Wasteland. We're going to be doing uh, something a little different. Oh, hello. Hey, you okay? You all right? About time you woke up. I was starting to think maybe they'd fried your brains or something. You got a headache, right? Don't worry. That'll get better. I don't know if it'll matter, but it'll get better. They must really like you. At least they let me keep my clothes. Looks like they stripped you of everything. Me? I'm the same as you, I figure. Went poking around some place I shouldn't have, and now I'm paying for it. So you and me, we're stuck here until they decide they want to prod us some more or worse. Man, I can't believe this. This is what you call, what is it, irony? Hell, I don't know. <laughs> You've got it all wrong, kid. You're in here with me. This is my little slice of heaven, not no, yours. Not a good time for jokes, I guess. Look, I don't know why they put you in here with me. Maybe it's another experiment. Not like I can ask them to find out. But since you ask, name Soma. Beyond that, I'm thinking not much matters if we're gonna stay stuck in here. Your guess is as good as mine. I can't understand what they're saying. I don't remember half of what they did to me. And that might be a good thing. I know we ain't the only ones. There's a whole bunch of us in here. They'll pluck folks out every now and then. Sometimes they bring them back, sometimes they don't. Either way, I ain't keen to find out what they're doing. I've been here for a little while, but haven't found a way to... Shit, you hear that? It's coming again. Back against the wall now. Well, at least it wasn't coming for us. This is a fine mess we're in, isn't it? I'm thinking maybe now you can understand it's a good idea to get the hell out of here? What? You've never seen a giant metal claw scoop somebody up and carry them off to who knows where? I don't know where they're taking him, and I'm not interested in staying here long enough to find out. We gotta get out of here, kid. Now! Okay, yeah. Let's do something about getting out. Well, there ain't no easy way out. Trust me, I've looked. Can't even find anything to pry open. See what's blocking the doorway. 
I'm thinking they did us a favor putting us together in here like this. And I say we use it to our advantage. They're keeping an eye on us, you know. Watching us. So I say we give them a little show. Give them a reason to pay a little extra attention to us. They want us alive for something. Who knows what? Point is, if it looks like one of us is gonna kill the other, they'll step in to stop it. So that's what we do. We throw a few punches, make it look real, and then jump them when they come in to break it up. It's worth a try. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing changes. Only we've got a few more bruises. Big deal. Let's give it a shot. I promise. I'll go easy on you. All right. Good girl. Now, let's not get too rough here, okay? Gotta make it look good, but don't want to do any serious damage. All right, I'll hold back on you. Make sure you don't get too roughed up, okay? And you be ready. Seems like a good sign. Hit me! Come on, hit me! Ow! Hey, not too hard! Ow! Ow! That really hurts! Ow! Ow! That really hurts! Ow! Hey, not too hard! Come on, make it look good. Ow! Hey, not too hard! No, no, crippling any crippl crippl limbs on that. Ow! That really hurts! Hey, kid, be careful! Okay, now's our chance. Get him! <laughs> Send more after us. Come on, come on. We don't have time to waste. Get... Take them out. Prepare the shot button so we can get a more. Listen, fatigue damage, knockout. His speed matters too much. Deal with the controls yet. Let's maybe find other people first. Oh, look what I have, officer. Mm. Well, mind you, that's some armor. Some clothing, at least. Maybe look a bit dignified. <coughs> Excuse me. through there just yet. Let's have a look at these controls. Some nice gear as well. Yeah, the in character recorded lock. Oh, okay. Find these and we find the logs. Just be 25 in total. Oh, no way. No way! This is a bad dream, right? I'm dreaming. Shit. So what? I'm being held hostage now or something? I'm some kind of prisoner? Listen, if this is because of what we did, 
I just work for those guys, okay? It's not like I enjoyed it. I was just in it for the caps, all right? Can I go now? <laughs> this is just ridiculous. I demand to see whomever's in charge. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know. Ow! What the? Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? Yeah, but it's not. Ow! Stop it! I am a U.S. Senator, and I warn you, if any harm comes to me, you'll bring the full wrath of the U.S. military upon yourselves. I'll wake up in a minute now. I need to wake up. What? Where are you taking me? Get your goddamn hands off me! You'll all pay for this. The U.S. doesn't bargain with aliens! Doctor, it starts with help. Ah, uh, okay. Around. <coughs> Listen, this is the right path. Okay, we gotta find a way out of here. Not a clue. I'm hoping we can get some answers once we get out of this place. Okay. What? Talk into this thing? Just talk? I, I don't have to do anything else. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow! All right. Ow! I said all right. Just stop. Hello. Um. Hello. hello. Hi. My name is Andrew Hi, Endicott. Listen. Can On the night of May here? 17th, the year of our Lord's. What the hell is this thing? What are we supposed to do with it? You have to shut that off to open the door here. Not really shut it off. More like blow it up. If you turn off the coolant, it'll get really hot and then explode. So be careful, okay? What? Talk into this thing? Just talk? I, I don't have to do anything else? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow! All right! Ow! I said all right, just stop! Hello. Um. Hello. My name is Andrew Endicott. On the night of May 17th, the year of our Lord 1697, I was... I was taken from my home in Salem Village. I... I do not know where I am, exactly, or why I came to be here. I've seen through... windows, the stars, and the sun, and beloved Earth. Down there, below me. So it would seem I am aboard some vessel suspended in the ether. Ironically, it would seem so close to where I thought heaven must surely lie. But this is not heaven, and my captors are not angels. I'm not entirely unconvinced that the scripture is wrong, that heaven and hell are reversed. For my captives are devils, Demons from my nightmares. Even now, they watch me, make me talk. They seem to want me to tell my story. I know not why. A, a record of their deeds, perhaps? Or am I just a pawn in some, some evil game? And there are others, other captives, I mean. From whence they came, I cannot say. Some wear strange dress, as if they're from a different time. And some are frozen, as in ice, unmoving, but I think alive. I believe they plan the same fate for me. Will I be frozen too? Will I? <laughs> Ow! Stop it! I did what you said. You wanted me to talk, so I talked. Just leave me, Just leave me be. Hmm. 
Thanks. Are you escaping? Do you want to see the rest of this place? I've seen a bunch. I can show you if you want. Great! Hmm. Very clever indeed. The pickpocket suddenly never to put it Oh, in. great. Well, so much for that idea. She suckered you good, huh? about you pay less attention see i told you i could help there's wires and stuff inside the wall there a while ago i learned which ones to put together to make the doors work there's all kinds of stuff in the walls but i guess you're too big to see but that's okay i can get to it just fine come on we need to get to the big engine room so i can show you the rest of this place i can help you even more Oh, I've been here a while. A long while. Sometimes, I can sneak out of my cell and go explore. I've seen a bunch of the ship. It's pretty neat. But they always catch me and put me back here. I don't have any family anymore. My mom and dad died a while ago, before I ended up here. You know, back when all the bombs dropped on everything. Yeah, it was right after that. And then me and my sister, we got pulled up here. Except, I haven't seen her in a long time. Sure! We need to go to the big engine thing, and then from there we can go up to the top of the ship. That's where the guy in charge is. I've only seen him once or twice, but he's extra mean. I guess you'll probably have to kill him or something, huh? Okay, come on! Attention to me, and more. Listen, I know how this shit works. We all go together, and we all get wiped out at the same time. No offense, but I'm gonna hang back for a bit. You need someone to keep an eye out behind you anyway. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you soon enough. In the meantime, I'm gonna just heal here. <coughs> so, our objective is clear. Let's go to the... Uh, engine and defeat the head alien. Yes, yes, I understand. I I've seen the others. I I'll do what you want. This is Dr. Morrison Rand, professor of anthropological archaeology at Banfield College, uh, Humboldt, Oregon. Shortly after 10 p.m. on August 16th, 2041, as I was leaving the college campus, headed to my car, I saw a blinding light. I it just appeared in the sky directly over me i was blinded i also found my body completely immobilized i, I couldn't move N not at all what happened next is easy i don't remember much what became clear later uh, what is certainly clear now is that i was abducted i am now the captive of an alien race one of many people held here against our will and like those others, I am recording who I am. Why? Because the aliens want us to for some reason. They have us do it right before they put us into some kind of suspended animation. These recordings. It's almost as if we're creating our own library catalog entries. Before we get put into a giant collection. The entire experience would be fascinating if I weren't so completely terrified. Uh, wh what? Stop. You want me to stop now? All right. All right. See? I'm stopping. I don't think there's much talking I need to do here. <laughs> Wait here, 
for a sec. There's more of them coming. I guess they're already looking for us. I can sneak past them in the vents, but you're too big to fit. We'll have to figure out how to get around. Wow, really? I get to use a grenade? Neat! Got it. Give me a minute to sneak around them. No, I could have done that for you. I'm only trying to help. Alien worm food. Hmm. It's free from radiation. Alien biogel. Oh, Those stem packs. Disintegrator. Come 
for their pistol battery then. gonna do? They just threw me in the cell with you after they poked and prodded me and now I just hope they won't kill us. Just take it easy. If they wanted us dead, we'd be dead. I don't know they must need you. something from us. You could try it. Yeah, they need us for food or something. You saw that guy. He was all cut open like he'd been butchered. Oh my god. We're gonna be next. Hey, I said calm down. If they hear you, they will come for us. Try and take it easy. No! Get us the hell out of here! Someone get us out! Please! I said to shut up! I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did that. Please forgive me. But we need to keep our heads on straight if we're going to survive. Oops, I didn't see those please, two. Uh, there's a door on the left I can open, I though. Just you should try go and go home. that way. Sorry. I just want to go the recordings because I find them all at work speed. Yeah, to say I never really got on with the, with the ship Z, I don't actually know why. I guess just maybe it wasn't in the mood but, at the time, but uh, it, it's not too bad. Six blood. There's a magazine size of a hundred as well, so that's pretty good. I 
I'm gonna risk karma. Okay then. Alright, we'll do it your way. Oh, I'm all the way back here. That was my quick work. I hope I managed to get them all. I just have a full record of uh, what the aliens are doing to people. Now, where do I go? Straight ahead, I think. Amazingly, there's not a lot that's actually contributed to my character's weight so far. I don't want to leave any audio logs. Don't worry about those aliens. They won't hurt you. This fence goes a different way, so you'll be by yourself for a while. Don't worry, I'll be Back to the shooting.
Ja, mir ist hoch. Interesting that aliens are considered a vulnerable. Really? Abominations and Fallout are things like, uh, at least in a lot of role-playing games as well, uh, things that are like not natural. Um, yeah. Like they've, uh, like, think of like Frankenstein as an abomination. It seems like this is all fairly linear. Um, Let's really have taken a lot of time and care with this one. Oh! Can modify it, nice. Burn out after three more uses. Oh, nice. D20. One. Eh, hey, natural 20. We're alright. Okay, so that thing can completely heal me, but only after well, like three times before it burns out. So I can modify it, so that's pretty good. I thought I was a worker. Suffer not the mutant, the Xeno, the heretic. Well, actually, so workers are alright. 
I thought we could actually pick up and take them, I can't. Nope, nothing here. No audio logs. So I'm guessing they might be rather the sort of safe areas. I don't know if they're just, I don't think there's any in the common areas. Another turret. I think they're meant to be opening fire. Okay, I'll show you what I found. If you want to get out of here, I think it'll help. Come on, follow me. Okay. Right, I'm coming. Let me just have a look for switches first. Aw, oh, nuts. They turned it off! Last time I was here, I used this to get to the top of the ship. It's kind of like an elevator, only it doesn't just go up and down. Feels sort of tingly too. They must be pretty angry that we're exploring. Oh, I know. Come on, I know another way up. Ah, teleports. Okay. Good stuff. Right. I'm just gonna have another look for those switches and then I will join you soon. Also check out this area as well. Okay, we'll do the bottom and we'll do the top. So that's the bottom. Ah, it looks like I can jump down there. If I jump down there, can I get back out? How did I know that was gonna happen? I'm all for player agency. I'm all for saying no. I'm all for saying yes, you actually you can jump down there to your death. Um I just like there to be a better reason than whatever the hell's actually going on here. But yeah, I guess the sparks, but like, I haven't touched them, so What's actually the problem, you know, narrative-wise? I know, as a player, that, that was going to happen. Because there's no way out. So that's why it's, you know, that's why that's going to happen. There's no narrative reason for it happening. From a gameplay point of view, that's what happens. But, uh, yeah. But invisible walls? Yeah. I'm fine with that. Just want to look... Oh, right, I guess that's the wall there. Right. Oops, as we go. One sweep around here. Okay. Never in my life have I had to turn on and off my pit boy light so much as I have had to in this uh, expansion. Because it's so damn bright, and half the time I don't actually know what I'm looking for. But it simply requires a key. Requires a key. That's the engine room. Okay. It's not portrait you should now. If 
about this way, just just exploring it all. So it's the hangar. The cargo hold. So, this is it. Pretty neat, huh? I never had the courage to wake them up, but I think you're going to need to. The spaceman has a suit, and we need him to use it. Well, because he's got a space suit. Can't go out in space without one. And if we're going to escape, we need to go outside. If they turn out the elevator things, that's the only other way to go. So we need a suit. See? Simple. So I'm just checking things. Yeah. Nope. Oh, still recording, still good. Okay. I've seen these all over. They put people in them, and the people go to sleep. They stay asleep for a really long time, too. Be careful if you touch them, though. They're really cold. I don't know. I've never talked to them. Sometimes I'd come and look at them and wonder why they're dressed like that. You see that one guy? He has this really neat suit on. Like armor or something. And that other guy? He looks just like a cowboy. I saw pictures of cowboys in books. I never saw a real one, though. This is going to be so neat! <laughs> okay. Oh, I love them. Ah, uh, let's focus on the weapons we're really using right now. Energy weapons. So, energy. The thing about energy weapons, one of the thing up it is, there's always been this thing of, um, in Fallout, where it's like guns are great early on, but energy weapons increase in, you know, like they're just better and you will get more of them later in the game. So guns are great early game, energy weapons are great later game. However, in Fallout 3 onwards, it's kind of like, well actually you can get energy, energy weapons really easily early on. So, eh, yeah. Anyway, here we have the Cyborg perk. You've made permanent enhancements to your body. The Cyborg perk instantly adds 10% to your fire, poison, radiation, energy, and fire resistance. If you want that. What do we... And do, we, and do we have energy weapons? Yeah. Down from what? Sorry. Yeah, so, so, if I think if we have 70, we should have something that's more. Does anything come from having a met, uh, energy weapon skill or something? I don't think so, no, because if that's, yeah, that's the highest. Oh no, plasma, oh, right, okay. Um, the AP costs for all plasma weapons, including plasma codes, and, oh wow, okay. Uh, AP costs vats, I'll take that, because I'm using a water. So they've all been in cryostasis. Oh, what the, where am I? Ah, uh, someone here that might get. Oh, it was. If you're a people help a lot of people who were hurt when you were in the war? Yeah, all the time. I was a doctor, so it was my job to try and make everyone feel better. How come people still die then after they get hurt, even when the doctors are out? Well, I mean, sometimes. It hurts so bad, there's nothing I can do. The human body is very hard to, um, it's hard to fix. So, I get hurt? Will I die? No, 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 don't worry. Nothing's gonna happen to you. Everything's gonna be just fine. So, 
You promise to fix me if I get hurt? Sure, sure. Don't worry. Don't worry. So. Hey, Soma. Can you tell me how it all ends up? You know, what happens down there? I don't know. All I heard was that one side or the other started dropping bombs, and it just all went to shit. So, they don't know who started it, or who won? You don't get it, because you've never been down there. It's all gone, Kikorian. Doesn't matter who won or who started it. Then, I don't really have anything to go back to, do I? I, I mean, my family's gone. My friends are gone. Everything I knew is gone. Sorry. You'll just have to learn to deal with it like the rest of us. If you got something you want to say, spit it out. Actually, I do. I used to tinker with all sorts of junk back home. I'd be glad to take a look at what you need fixed, but it's gonna cost you some caps. Maybe to you, it does, but hey. I gotta think about the future. If we get back down there and I'm broke, how am I going to survive? You know as well as I do that there are no handouts in the wasteland. Good. I'm glad we see eye to eye. Now, let me see what you need fixed. So repair them for 5,000 caps. Uh, no. See, that's what I mean. Like, a lot of this stuff I don't actually need repairing, so. Uh, no, I can do without it. Yeah? Something bugging you? Not much to tell. I heard that radio signal. Thought I'd check it out. Thought maybe I could pull some scrap from whatever was sending the signal. Got a little more than I bargained for. Does it really matter? I mean, we're fighting to stay alive here. Whatever I did before we got to this point doesn't mean a whole lot right now. Oh, great. All right, listen. Not that it's any of your damn business, but yeah. Before I got sucked up into this crazy alien land here, I pulled some shady stuff. Many of my associates may or may not have been slavers. And I may or may not have received payment for helping them in their trade. Okay. Big secret exposed. Great job. Hope you're happy. Hell if I know. I don't plan on starting a conversation to ask, you know? Yeah, sure. I'll keep your spot warm. As I don't have Lincoln's repeater, this will have to do. That's for the slaves. What's... what's going on? Who are all these people? I can place it. I know what that is. What? I've never seen any of you before in my life. The last people I saw were... Oh my god! Aliens. I was taken by aliens. You! You must be the aliens trying to get into my mind. Well, that's not gonna work. Private Elliot Tekorian. U.S. Army Medic. Serial number 3477809. That's all I'm telling you. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you assumed human form. I heard they can do that. Or you are human, but they took over your mind. We have no idea how limitless their powers are. <laughs> I... I suppose so. Look, all I want to do is get back home. 
and back to the rest of my squad. Wait a minute. My men, my unit. Have you seen them? Oh my God. I'm responsible for them. And now they're lost or dead. Please, if you mean what you say, that we're all in this together, then you've got to help me find out what happened to them. Thank you. Thanks so much. Sorry about all this. I just can't believe this is happening. I'd really like to, but when I woke up on this ship for the first time, all of my medical gear was gone. I saw that the aliens on this ship have some sort of viscous stuff they slather onto wounds. Some kind of biological gel. Get me some of that, and I might be able to mess around with it, make some sort of adapted biogel we can use on ourselves. Sure, here you go. They should work pretty well, but watch out for side effects. Okay. Shit, 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 shit. Ah! Just let me go, okay? This is crazy. This is like batshit unbelievable crazy. I didn't do anything! I don't know what you want with me. I can't believe this I'm saying this, but I swear, actually I didn't even role. want to be there, man. You gotta believe me. Salisbury I didn't even way. want to be out in the field. I was hoping for a job in Washington, you know? What do you want? I don't understand. Why is this happening to me? Just gonna listen to all the logs and then this is, carry on. This is incredible. I'm... I'm Colonel Hardigan of the United States Air Force. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. What? I, I don't understand. Oh, uh, speaking to this? Yes. I was saying, I'm Colonel Hardigan. United States Air Force. Our nation has been conducting manned space flight tests. <laughs> I'm sorry, you'll have to forgive me. Frankly, we never expected to meet you all. I'm sure there's a great deal that our two species can learn from- Ow! Ow! What the hell? What is this? What are you doing? Where's my wife? Where's my boy? What have you done with them? When I get free, so help me God, I'm gonna kill every last one of you. Ah! What are you doing? What the hell do you want with us? Let me go! So we've got all English speakers, except this gentleman here. Now we do have a cowboy as well, I want to speak to him first. Where are they? Where are the little buggers? Aliens? That what you call them? So you woke me, huh? Who the hell are you? Not a shit kicking cowboy, that's for sure. Do I really look that stupid, kid? This ain't a ship. I don't hear water, and I sure as hell don't feel us rocking. So tell me another one. Besides, you don't look trapped to me. How do I know you ain't working with those little green bastards? The only teams I know are cattle, and they get led to the slaughter. That's why I work alone, kid. Now, you did let me out of that thing, so it counts for something. Tell you what, I usually ride solo, but I'll stick with you for now. You try and pull anything stupid, and I'll bury you. The ship is huge. How did they build something this big? What 
ておるのだこの地に見覚えはない一体拙者に何をした拙者の剣を今すぐ返すのだ早く返せるか I saw the word shitter、oh, oh, yep. We really are down the shitter right now <laughs> 何を言っておるのださっぱりわからん何とかしてくれ Shite, yep, I agree with that as well. The situation is indeed a shite. No, that poor astronaut. Those freezers are so dangerous. Sometimes people don't wake up. I guess you better take his suit. You're going to have to go if he can't. But first, you have to get to the door to the outside. They'll be waiting for you. But you can suck out all the air and part of the ship so they won't get in your way. They have these generator things that power parts of the ship and make sure it has air. You'll have to turn some of them off. There's one in the cryo lab, one in the hangar bay, and one where they make the robots, the robot assembly area. Once they're all broken, you can get through that door to the outside. And then, once you get to the top of the ship, you can turn the teleporter thing back on, and I can catch up to you. I guess it's time for me to get those doors unlocked for you now. This is fun! Oh, you'll know them when you see them. You push this button, and then this big thing is like whoosh, and it comes out of the floor. And then there are these things you press down, and it goes, and then you better get out of the way. You'll see. They, like, honestly, if all quest text was like that, I could deal with that. Make the kitten go kaboom! Follow the <laughs> noise. Things like that. Um, I think he's from the Earth's past. There are people frozen all over the ship the aliens grabbed, wearing funny old time clothes and stuff. Don't go alone. Those generators are in scary places. Take one of the grown ups with you. Yeah, what is it? Doesn't matter now. Only important thing is, well, I guess it's revenge. Doesn't matter. They're not getting it, whatever it is. Can't say as it matters, or that I'd feel like telling you anyway. So you, you know, there's not much more to say. It wasn't just me sucked up into this place. My wife and my boy too. I can still hear them crying out to me, begging me to save them. And there wasn't a damned thing I could do. They were, they were everything to me, you know. So now I've got nothing, nothing at all. No sense in dwelling on it now. Let's just get out of here. Some sort of foreigner, obviously. Can't make out a word he's saying. Fine, I'll be here. Hey there, what'd you need? Well, it was getting dark. We had spent the day out in the trenches, keeping as many of the guys alive as we could. Chinese had been pounding on us all day with artillery from these huge guns they had up on the mountains. It was really a mess. Anyway, we pitched our tents and stowed our gear to try and catch some shut eye. I woke up suddenly, Private Dawkins screaming. He was bathed in some kind of blue light coming from the sky. All of us just froze as he just, well, vanished. We didn't know what happened. Did the Chinese come up with some new weapon? Moments later, all of us were in the blue light too. The rest, you know. <coughs> what if this is just some horrible misunderstanding? Like, what if some radio waves got beamed into space and made it all the way to their planet, only they didn't hear the nightly news or whatever? To them, it sounded like a declaration of war. So they decided to attack us first. Seriously, 
This whole thing could totally be our fault. Do you realize that? Me? Well, I was a medic with the 108th Infantry Battalion stationed at Anchorage, Alaska. I was with a squad of five other medics. Our job was to patch everyone up after the commies gunned them down. It was pretty bloody. Nothing at all like I expected when I gave up my hospital job to enlist in the army. Maybe they're gonna take over the whole planet. Like, maybe they've been coming here for hundreds, no, thousands of years, waiting to hit us when we're not expecting it. And then they wipe us out and strip the planet of all its resources. I bet that's it. He looks like a Japanese samurai. Guess the aliens must have plucked him from Earth a long time ago. I can't understand a word he's saying. Or maybe, just maybe, they're responsible for life on Earth. Like, they seeded the planet a really long time ago. And they've been coming back every once in a while to check on the progress. And now they've decided they don't like how it turned out. Can you imagine? They made us, and now they're pissed at us! Just hurry up and find us a way off the ship before we all end up frozen again. Okay. The ship is huge. How did they build something this big? For our next objective. What you want? It's a pretty big place, and I've only seen some of it. They always catch me before I see the whole thing. I've seen the cryo lab. That's where they freeze people and cut them up and stuff. And the hangar. That has the aliens flying ships and all the stuff they need to fly them. And the robot assembly is where they build the big metal robots they use. But the real important stuff is on the top of the ship. I've never been there. Don't worry, I'll be safe with these guys. They seem pretty neat. Support the quest among the stars. <laughs> Rest well for the people you revived. Speak your peace. Well, now you're speaking my language. Hell yeah, I'll come with you. Suit yourself. Awesome. Hey there, um, I don't mean to bother you at all. Yeah? What is it? Spit it out. Well, I just thought, um, we should get to know each other. I, I mean, after all, we're watching each other's back, so... Look, you do the healing, and I do the killing. Besides that, what do we have to talk about? Well, I just thought... Well, see, that's your problem. You thought, but you're wrong. Now, isn't there some bandages you should be making or something? Yeah, uh, well, glad we talked. I know I feel better. Okay. Hey, mister, <laughs> are you a real cowboy? Don't sneak well, up on me like yeah, that. I suppose you could say that. Wow, so you've got to ride horses? Real living horses? I've never even seen a real living horse. What are the guys? Well, I guess if you find the right one, it'll be your friend for life. If you find the wrong one, and it'd rather throw you than carry you. That's funny. Sounds like the way people can be, too. You know, for a little late, you're pretty smart. I just hope you were smart enough to pick the right horse when you broke this stranger out. Aw, don't worry. I always pick good friends. I sure hope so, for all else. Make our way to our next destination.
it at all. What the hell is that thing? I'm gonna find out soon enough. That's crashed shit. Whoa, I don't know what those tall shiny things are, but I'd stay away from them if I was you. There's a control device to activate. Okay. Hold on there. Don't take another step. No telling how far down that goes. Ah, this crash wreckage, I believe. Oh, come on. I don't want to see how far down it goes. For shame. of important looking gizmos up there. That's got to be where the generator machine is. Because you, of course, know what a generator machine would look like. Ah, oh, shooting. What's he got there? Cowboy repeater. Very nice. He's doing some good damage. I will eventually repair this. How are we doing for time? Should be good. Control. Okay, let's leave that for a minute and have a look around, shall we? Modify that. I don't know what that sound is. I'll stay up here to draw a bead on the aliens as they rush us. If they get near those towers, hit the buttons and fry them. Okay. Holy hell! Those towers made out of lightning or something?
Things are coming from the generator room. and then get the hell out of here. So same as the other one. These are what cool it down. Very smooth animations as well, aren't they? But that's going to build up. Stand here, I'll wait the blast. Generator machine, that ought to piss those aliens off. If we're done here, we should get back to the others. Okay, I don't think there's any audio locks. Hmm. I think we've got everything in here. I really do want to double check because I don't want to miss any audio logs. Alright, let's also start repairing some stuff. Mind you, look at the value on those. I am back, sorry to keep you waiting all. Okay. I 
don't know why I'm saying it. So I'm sorry to keep you waiting. You haven't been waiting at all this time. Oh, hello. Drone cannon. I guess that's the big guns. I guess this is the big guns weapon. It's very interesting. Alien crystals, I'm guessing they're just used to be sold. Or maybe I'm some sort of vending machine later. Again, the turrets aren't really doing anything. But I don't want to trigger any attacks on them in case they start turning on us. If they're not worth the XP, then. Hmm. Hmm. Not a bad vessel. I mean, because I know, right? So you said there is nothing else I need. Last thing I want to do is leave this place and realise, oh wait, there's actually one of those logs. I've been on that side. I'm going to be absolutely concerned before I move. This expansion is So this expansion would be considerably shorter if I didn't spend so much time looking around. Is there anything we should be? Hmm. 
Okay, I think I've got everything. I'm really sorry to be paranoid again. I'm, I'm guessing it really must be in like the safe areas where there's the logs are. anywhere. Why don't we just hold on to him and try to negotiate? Y you know, like a hostage. And how are we supposed to do that? We can't understand what the hell they're saying. I don't know, but maybe we should. There must be something. <laughs> no, sense discuss... no sense discussing it now. You can pat yourself on the back when you've blown up all the generators, not just one of them. Fine. If I see any aliens, I'll say hello for you. Suit yourself. Hey, you're doing great. Only two more generators and we can move on. Just hang in there. I know this is rough. Isn't it obvious? They're probably using us as guinea pigs, examining our anatomy. Once they've figured out how to make exact copies of us, they'll send those copies back down to Earth to take our places. When they've copied enough of us, they'll turn on us and take over the world. Come on, how can you not see that coming? Just hurry up and find us a way off the ship before we all end up frozen again. Soma, what's it like down there? Is it still the same? Same as when you were down there, you mean? Yeah. I mean, hey there, um, everything was I don't all mean blown to up bother you really at all. Dirty. Mm. There were lots of yeah. sick people what is it? too. Spit it out. And lots of people well, crying. I just thought um, that about sums it all up. We should get to know each other. The world other. is I, I still mean, a huge all, mess. We're watching each other's uh, backs, so. I wish they could fix that. You do the hate being down there. I do the killing. There isn't anyone Besides left that, to fix anything. What do we have to talk about? Everything's in ruins. People well, are still fighting to survive, and I see, don't see anything that can change that. You thought, but Maybe you're wrong. Maybe we should just stay up here. Now, then. isn't there some bandages you should like be that. making or something? Hey, yeah, at least uh, down there we're free. Well, well glad we talked. Of us I know I feel better. So let's just get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey so, there, little one. What's your story? So are your parents anywhere aboard this ship? My story. Nah, Same it was me and my sister. I don't know where the heck I am. I don't know what happened to my parents. Home. Your no, sister's I mean, what up you here? Do? Have where you seen her? From? Well, we don't I saw know anything her once about you. when I first woke up on this Good. ship, but I haven't I seen her since. That way. Hey, I'll work with don't you. Don't worry. But I'm not here to if make If she's up here, we're going to Look, find her, okay? We need to work together Thanks, to get out of here. So like it or not, you're stuck with us. You can drop the lone gunman. Workbench. <coughs> Look, I can make ourselves real comfortable here, in fact, as soon as the other team already has. You blew up one of the generators! We might actually get out of here! I knew it! I knew it! The lights went out for a few seconds, and I just knew you took out one of those generators. All you have to do is two more, and we can leave. Don't worry, I'll be safe with these guys. They seem pretty neat. All I heard was that one side or the other started dropping bombs, and it just all... Oh, hey, what's up? I'll give you a rescue. Hmm. Sounds like I may be of some use in there. If there are other people in stasis, I could help revive them or something. Just watch my back. Just hurry up and find us a way off the ship before we all end up frozen again. One generator down and two to go. Keep it up, kid. This is robot assembly. Yeah. Of course, the cryolabs where we were previously resuscitated. So we got to go all the way back there. 
That's okay. Most of the movements slow down as well. audio logs. Quite appropriate that I'm fighting with a member of the uh, American Army wearing winter eyes. Yeah, wearing the, uh, the winter combat armor, power armor. What's it called again? The uh, yeah, Winter has a T-51B power armor. So, you should recognize it. I'm guessing this is one of the audio logs. Lock number two. What? What the fuck is this thing? Is there some kind of Martian sex machine, you sick fuck? Oh, no, no way! Fucking crazy ass moon man. Go ahead. Do your worst. Oh Jesus H. Do you not get it, Space Cadet? I do not fucking understand what you want me to do. This thing? This? What? Oh, I am talking. What do you want me to say? Blah 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 yakety yakety that's all you assholes can say? Spacemen with all the science? And you can't even speak fucking English? Okay, how about this? Look at my all name is Jenny Chamber. I am on a fucking UFO. I'm from and I wanna get home. Can I get a taxi please? How's that? Huh? I'm here! That worked for your starstruck. What? Don't you raise that fucking thing to me again. No, you're gonna hit me again! Ah, son of a! Why don't you go back to Uranus, huh? <laughs> so, oh, one more thing as well. It's the abominable perk. 
you, there's nothing abominable about your domination. About your damage bonus against abominations. No, that's cool. Okay. Hmm, interesting. There's radiation coming from here. Right, I don't want to activate any of these audio log uh, these logs just in case. Hello. Who's this? Well, that was only a living soul. Perhaps. Let's keep on going. my squad in there. What the hell are the aliens doing to them? You green bastards, get your hands off them! There has to be a way to release their containment seal. Maybe there's a button or something on this console. How do you like that, you fox? How does it feel to be on the other end for a change? Experiment on this, you sons of bitches! <laughs> Corporal Reams, Corporal Spurlock. Pretty well money, pretty well hat. Oh my god, no. I can't believe they did this to you. Why wasn't I here sooner? I could have stopped them. That's it. I. That's it. I'm sick of running. Let's finish these aliens off and get the hell home. Come with a third two pistol. Wait, I think that's some more of my squad. It's Daniels and Beckett. There's got to be a way to revive them with their memories intact so they won't attack us on sight. I think I may be able to use this medical equipment to bring them out of stasis properly. The aliens have already injected them with all sorts of compounds I don't recognize. I don't know how it will affect them when they awaken. I don't know what to do. These guys are the last of my squad. They're my friends. If I revive them, maybe they could help us. I'm not sure they'll last very long, but if we leave them... You saw what the aliens did to the others! I don't know for certain. I can get them on their feet and moving for maybe a few minutes at best. There's no way for me to tell what the aliens have already subjected them to. I can't understand these readouts. Their pain could be horrible. This technology is out of my league, so I'm just going to have to improvise. It's the best I can do. Yeah, I was considering that too. We can't let the aliens experiment on them anymore. It just isn't right. But maybe we should give them a chance to fight with us. It's better to die that way than to live through years of agony. Thanks. I'm really not sure what's best for them. What did you decide? Just remember, they won't be alive long, so we need to keep moving as fast as we can. I'm going to need to watch their vitals carefully as I use the medical console to pump them full of the correct fluids and bring them back. When I give the signal, you open the tubes with that switch. Don't open them until I tell you, or the results could be unpredictable. Okay, let's see. This must initiate the thawing process. Okay. Blood pressure looks normal. Heart rate, normal enough. Oh, I hope to God this works. Open the tubes. If I did everything right, they'll still be alive. All right, squad, listen up. 
I know you have no idea what's going on, but you Someone just have to trust me. Arranged my insides. We were captured by the aliens, the things what that grabbed us from us? Anchorage. And now we're free. Here, take these weapons and follow me. Let's show them what some motivated U.S. soldiers can do. On me, squad. Let's go! Let's okay. keep going. Let's put these Let's guys know how long I have. We just know how long I have. Hmm. Let me take some of this cryogenic compound back to the engine core. I might be able to make some use of it. We have to overload. Listen to the audio logs while we're moving. Private Lawrence Mears, U.S. Army Medic, serial number 3476511. Private Lawrence Mears, U.S. Army Medic, serial number 3476511. But you can do whatever you want to me. I'm not Satan, Jack. Shh. Stick it where the sun don't shine. Oh, my God. Private Lawrence Mears. U.S. are... <laughs> Medic. Our defenses consist of three battalions of light infantry, thirty four pieces of field artillery. 108 armored vehicles and 
We have 38 ICBMs, always on alert. They're ready to fire. When the word is passed down from the White House, yeah. the codes to activate the launch sequences are... are... No. I can't let you... Get out of my mind! The codes are... I can't betray... My head! I can't... There you are! ICBM is Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, if you're wondering what the uh, uh, log there was talking about. Oh man, I've seen this on TV! <coughs> you gonna eat me? Aren't you? I'm like some sort of delicacy on your planet, right? Right? Well, I hope you choke! I hope you stump your stupid little green faces choke to death! Unless this is like that other show where I get put in some sort of weird alien zoo. Uh, that might be okay. <laughs> I'm Holly so that's Barris the Ford, now, a linguistic specialist for the USSA. It? I think I'm beginning to understand you, but you need to stop shocking me. Damn, I wish you could understand me. Do you understand? What? <laughs> That's it. You get it. I mean you no harm. I just want to learn how to speak with you. Then perhaps we can discuss what you need from us. What are you doing with that needle? No, get it away from me. No, please. We can be friends. You don't need to. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> 
Now you might be thinking that aliens are a bit too far-fetched for Fallout, that you can believe all the other stuff but aliens. But aliens have been part of Fallout since I think the first game. Uh, you can come across uh, crash de spaceships, and even before then, like Fallout was an incredibly strange game. Um, so, oh, okay, I think we're back to where I wanted to be. Um, so yeah. So you got to see a lot of weird stuff. Uh, in each of the games. Release mechanism. What is it releasing? Pray tell. Hmm. Let's But yeah, um, aliens are. I, mean, I appreciate that you know it's it's not referenced enough to really be, I guess, valid as part of a thing. Or not. first thought was to uh, just go nuts. So you know what? Yeah. I'm gonna fight the guy in the power armor. I'm gonna punch a feral ghoul. in here that I might need. No, no audio logs. I haven't got any left on No. Just want to double check because I have missed some really obvious ones before. So now the turrets are active. Right, I 
that's it, so you could do it, release all the controls individually or um, do it all at once. We did it all at once. Recon armor, that's okay, please hand. Most of here. Nice oh, enclave of armor. Forty-five deep power armor. Oh, nice. I'll take that to repair my current laser rifle. I wonder why I've got everything. I don't like leaving it this chance. Yeah, so you can't get through there as you've gone through. So hopefully we've got everything there. I believe we did. This is the area I wanted to frisk a bit more um, thoroughly. That. So, oh yeah, you've still got stuff to loot from the scorps. <laughs> Glitters. <laughs> now there's a door control here. Hey. Okay. Bridge the community case to explore. Too much stuff. Tiny intact garden. Okay. 
Yeah, it doesn't seem to be much else here that's of new sort of importance. So I think we're safe to leave. Oh. I sit in this probably very comfy chair. Any more audio logs to listen to now? Okay, we're good to go. Hopefully I've got them all, hopefully I've got them all. Please don't have them all. I don't want to be missing any. I don't know if there's a reward, like, it's probably XP. I don't know if there's any perks associated with them. I don't think we really properly had a look down here. I do actually need a crutch or something. I think I was hesitant about coming down here again. We found. Oh, I see. Like a tape recorder, right? You just want me to talk. I can do that, certainly. Hello there. I'm Madeline Wallace. Of the Cincinnati Wallaces? Well, I'm here on this rocket ship. I'm with the strange men, the spacemen, the ones who brought me here. My entire family is on board, actually. My husband, Roy, my daughter, Margaret, and my son, Arthur, as well. Oh, you should see Arthur. He's so excited. He says this is much better than the things they show on the Captain Cosmos. And I have to say, I agree. Everything is so time. fantastical. I can only hope our captives have been talking with Uncle Sam. Because with these doohickeys, we'd have the Reds beat in no time. <laughs> hmm? oh, I I'm terribly sorry, sir. I'm doing my best. I really don't know what you want me to say. Whomever will listen to this recording, I would just like to state that if you find yourself in the same boat as the Wallaces, don't be afraid. I'm not entirely sure what our hosts want, but the situation has been entirely acceptable. We have been treated fairly. Anyway, the spaceman is waving his little electrical stick thingy, so I think I'm done. open more boxes. Ah, oh, okay, so you go to a... Can I recycle anything?
Hurry up taking out that last generator if you can. I don't feel comfortable staying near that giant engine core for much longer. Yeah, I think so. Before I was shipped out to Anchorage, I was trained in cryoscience. We were hoping to apply that to medicine. The compounds we used weren't that different from this cryogenic liquid. Pretty sure I can make us some improvised weapons from it. I'm thinking something along the lines of cryo grenades and cryo mines. I don't know yet. Check back with me in about an hour and I'll see what I can do. Not yet. Okay, whatever you think is best. Okay, tell me if you need medical assistance. Still one generator to blow up. Figure you should be off doing that instead of hanging around here. Suit yourself. Hey there, little one. So what? Uh... Yeah! Only one more of those generators is all you need to take care of. And we can get to the bridge and kick some alien butt! Yes, I mean. Oh, I hope we can find my sister somewhere. I have such a... One more generator, and we can get to the top of this ship. Then we can hit the aliens where it really hurts. Heck yeah. I can take apart and put together a protectron with my eyes shut. I'll go with you. Lead on. No idea what his deal is. Sounds like that gibberish you can pick up on the radio in some parts of the wasteland. Huh. Go on, don't let me stop you. Whereabouts is he? Just want to make sure the poor guy is okay. この Let's get to the next and final compartment. Hopefully, do all this once for all. No audio logs left. Not too shabby yet. Sorry, I thought something. Nearly done. No. Shiny machines and such. Gotta find a generator, huh? Let's see. How about we start with that teleporter thing? This place is incredible. Can you imagine having stuff like this in the wasteland? You'd even be a match for the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm not totally sure what I'm doing here, but I'll try and tinkle with it. 
You just make sure I don't get shot, okay? Bundling into the room. All right. Now that things have quieted down, I'll see if there's something up here I can push to stop more of those tin cans from showing up. Maybe I can turn off some other stuff too, and maybe I'll find a way back down. You keep looking for that generator. Well, if this is where they make the robots, we may be able to discover some way to weaken or control them. Be on the lookout for any gizmos or schematics. Go on, don't let me stop you. See, is it really bad art at Karma to slay the alien workers when, I don't know, maybe they're complicit um, in the events? Like, have they not tortured us like that? Or done things to other people? Or are they, like, genuinely clueless? to end up shooting the uh, workers. That's a tough one. So it seems as though we can actually turn the turrets against us. I 
I don't think it's actually, I was saying before, like, it's a bit linear. Uh, it's not really that much linear, it's more like... Um... Well, well I suppose anyway, it's just, you know, it's like three branches. To one thing. But, uh, yeah. And the choices you make do somewhat matter. I say somewhat as in... For example, if you go for this one, I imagine like, all the teleporters work, which is pretty useful. Or if you uh, go for the other side, you know. in fact, yeah, you get like the drone control thing. So that's one perk. Or the others, what would the others be? I don't know, yeah, maybe there's less alien guards. Um, it's me. I suppose, uh, you know, the... The cryo gear is pretty good. Now just where am I supposed to go, where is it? Through here? Well, this is local map time. Yeah, I'm still no... I'm still none the wise as to where I'm supposed to go. Like, this explosion, does it allow me to walk through here? No. Oh. Oh, you mean one of one of the ones I'm shot around? I lost calm. Later on, I have no idea. See, repair is not a problem. Ammo? Who the fuck is gonna sell ammo for this? So we better put plenty up. Let's 
for the reactor. Any audio logs here? Looks very 40k that. The uh, uh that just looks almost like stained glass. Just before I go, I fully explored this area. There are no audio logs here. Now I could absolutely use the Fallout Wiki, but I'm gonna take what I can get. I'm not gonna do that. The only time I'm really gonna like be like, okay, I'm gonna pause the video every five minutes to check the wiki is basically with, um, if I don't know, you can do that with the pit and getting 50 steel ingots. The reason why I'm not gonna actually pause for five minutes is because I'm just gonna do it all in one go. Watch the video, YouTube video, get it done, record, boom. Because that's going to take me a good, possibly, I won't say an hour, but you never know with these things. Now what now? Hang on a second. Was there another prison that one of these doors here would open up? Yeah? Something bugging you? Yeah, yeah. Just don't think about ditching me. We're in this together. Guess it's time for your spacewalk. Lucky you. Huh. How about that? He's gone. I didn't even notice. Hope he doesn't get himself into trouble. Yeah, sure. I'll keep your spot warm. Take this! Ah! As a commander, um, from the humble labor supposed to the melee gun, lets you do 15% damage and 10% critically hit with any laser weapon. Nice. Take that. Now that all three generators are destroyed, you're going to have to take a walk outside. I just hope that old spacesuit is still sealed properly. 
Yeah, sure did. I was able to make a few cryo grenades and cryo mines. I can make more, but I'll need around three more hours. Keep checking back with me and I'll tinker with it. Don't get cocky. Took off. Don't know where to. Don't much care. Suit yourself. You did it! You, you did it! Woohoo! Wow! You did it! Now you're gonna have to go outside of the ship. I know it looks scary, but that's the only way to the top. Oh, make sure you wear a spacesuit before you go out there, or you could die. Don't forget. Oh, I'm in Luke. Don't mind if I do. Oh, there goes nothing. Decompression begins. Let's put on the spacesuit, shall we? Look at me. Ooh. Hey, don't forget to put on the astronaut suit before starting the decompression. Some buff out. Compression suit. if I take off the suit. Half. Just gotta stay on. Got it. But now I'm not wearing armor, this might be a bit more difficult. It's not like I'm just breathing. Labored, I think. Spacewalk there. Right, let's make our way for the spacewalk. Are we ready? Now. Okay, you swap it, boy. Look at this, ain't this cool? Gravity on the ship seems to be. Better than normal.
That's pretty cool. I like that they have a unique death animation for that. I hope I'm not doing anything by doing that, but... We're about to find out. I'm sure it's alright. Can't tell up now. Be able to wear my power armor soon. I'll get the door. We need to make them pay every last one. Well, hey there. Fancy meeting you here. Nice work. Now what? Okay, if you say so. Lead the way, kid. Just between you and me, I'm surprised at how well I'm coping. I mean, I think I'm coping. Unless I've just lost my mind already. <laughs> Not yet. They know we're coming, so be careful. sure where to go, but I think if we keep going this way, we'll find what we're looking for. Oh. It's so pretty, isn't it? Didn't think I'd ever see something like this. That's really something. Almost enough to make you forget we're running for our lives up here. Not really the time for gawking. Sorry, I should get the door. Hang on, okay? So that. I what that is. Is that the good old US of A? Is this Earth? I'm just curious about something. See if the, the light changes or anything. Yeah, so something's glowing from the radiation. But what? I don't know. So pretty, isn't it? Didn't think I'd ever see something like this. That's really something. Almost enough to make you forget we're running for our lives up here. Not really the time for gawking. Sorry, I should get the door. Hang on, okay?
Oh. Wow. Did you see that? Scary. But also kind of a stupid move on their part, don't you think? Pretty obvious, wasn't it? They're putting on a big show trying to scare us. It means we're getting under their skin. That's a good thing. Of course, now it looks like we've got a big death ray thing we need to take down before they blow up the whole damn planet. But it's nice to know we're having an effect, don't you think? Oh no! They turned this one off too! You're going to have to find the other end and turn it back on. Good luck. We'll stay right here and wait for you. We've got to find a west tower off this uh, turn it on rather than the teleporter. What are the weapons like? There's anything new waiting here for us. Oh, I overload turret secretary. Close the book is up then. That's good. But I could toy, well. Toy pulverizer. Nice. Critical chance and damage. Let's see what this thing can do.
doesn't look him. Because they're all good. Use the metal armor to repair my. Yeah, it's really taking a beating from these guys. Some nice gear here. Space go my okay. Okay, I can't repair that, so it's fine. Alien Biogel seems to have side effects. Okay, I'm 8 into minus 1, but AP plus 10. <laughs> 17 audio logs. I don't think we're going to get them all. Destabilize.
Okay, is there anything else here? In this room? Oh, it's an achievement or challenge for eating 100 alien foodstuffs. Alas, I don't even know if there's any. I mean, even on the ship. Seems we've gathered everything from here. There as I can go. Who have been all around here? Okay. Let's carry it. This works on contact, Familiarity with alien technology gives you better control of the weapons, increasing the damage output by 20%.
nice to farm XP all in all. Yeah, so I think that was the place where you actually get the Zinnop tech perk. You get it by, um, like, killing some of the targets on the, on the shooting range. So... I don't know what's, uh... Where to? Yeah, sorry, I was getting a bit in, over in Dolphin now. The uh, shooting range. Drop some of these buttons. What I was seated in earlier. Can't I feel my arms? Wait, are those, are those my arms? What did you do? Oh God, put them back! P -p put them back on! Rather cruel experiments. Exactly the kind of tree you can exactly sit in. Seems as though some vile experiments have been performed in that.
Oh, six more logs to go. I can't feel my legs. What did you do to my legs? Frank? I can't see you. Frank! Frank, what what did they do to you? So that's what I did to Frank. So, the aliens make each other through these experiments, or is this a subtype of alien or something? Oh God. What are you doing to me? What's that thing? G get it out of me! Oh, it hurts! Oh, please, stop! <laughs> no! the abominations cruise. But the aliens realize their mistakes. It would be very costly. There's a reach me. using like death call, death call, yeah, the skeleton, I'm not sure. Oh, 
Just wait until I tell Masha and Karen about this. Imagine! I'm actually on a spaceship! Oh! They're pointing at... Oh! Of talking to this? What is this? Is this the space phone? Hey, Marsh, this is Janet. You will never guess where I am. Never. Oh! I wish I could hear you, but I'll just tell you. I'm in space! I was driving along the highway when there was this light. And suddenly, I'm on this real spaceship. No joke! Now these little green men are making all these noises and pointing at stuff trying to talk to me. I bet I'm the first one they've met. So I figure oh. I'll talk with them a while, then I'll join you later. And I can tell you all about it over lunch. Oh, I only have my camera. Well, they're pointing at some table with all sorts of gizmos sticking out of it. Gotta go. Kisses. Oh, I'm stuck. Great. Doesn't matter. We'll, uh, we'll skip through all this. I think we might actually have a chance of getting all the uh See, that's why I save as often as I do, because it's very easy to get stuck in the environment. Actually, that's not fair to say it. Mm. It's not so much easy to get stuck. So it's just that it's difficult to get out of being stuck. If you're not spending as much time as I am looking around and all that sort of stuff, you could probably get this expansion to do about two hours. I think even then I've been taking the piss a lot, so it's probably even shorter than four, you know. Yeah. Where I had where this headset, I will be headbanging into that. That sounds amazing. wasn't too scary. 
be good, I guess. This is scary. But it's also kind of fun. Oh, excuse me. My uh, phone's pinged. Okay, uh, right. It's not part of the bridge that doesn't work. Yeah, I think they're trying to keep us from getting there. Well, we should look for another way to go. There's one more here that works. You go through first and make sure it's safe. Now I'll be right behind you, okay? Just between you and me. Here you go. Hope you're making good use of them. If you need more, I should have a batch ready in about three hours. We need to make them pay. Every last one. Quite a little band of misfits we've got here, huh? All right, I'll make sure they don't cut us off. So we've got to get to the death room. Oh, the whole bar is open for the now. It's oil, not blood. What am I like? I tell the board, I just want to check there's nothing behind here, is there? Again, we are so close, I don't want to miss any audio logs.
lab should nuke to the wasteland by accident. But of course there's more, more than one wasteland, isn't there? So, which wasteland? Probably all of them. Well, so much for New Vegas. players no oh, cables like Amazingly, there's no karma damage for that. The game probably can't even comprehend. What I've actually done. But there's no number for that. I just systematically killed hundreds of thousands of people. I just hope that was a bit of an empty plot. Who knows? Maybe it's actually it's actually got rid of the radiation. You're so sneaky that even with your pit by light on, you can sneak by stuff so the pit light sneak penalty. Oh, that's good. Hardly really worth perk, but I don't know, maybe. 
I'll come in handy later. Have I got, uh, there's two points to, to rank action girls, so I think I'll go for that. Because I get more action points in bats. So I get an extra 10 points. Pretty good. Has there been a unique shock baton yet or anything like that? I don't think there has, that's a little bit from that. Because I find it's all too easy to overlook the melee sort of builds in these kind of games. I think that was supposed to be some kind of bed mechanic, but uh, evidently didn't really get going. Just have the aliens and send us in. Which is fine, I just. Okay. Any more audio logs are still going for our Shooting limbs off as professor aims again professor aims against them is okay.
Oh, hello. Passing me to new here. Server spots, maybe. Support drones are supporting me with experience points. So I get a complaint of that. It's a great way to humanize the they, they have old things on them. Pre war money, I can't remind you that these abominations.
kill aliens. 51 out of 51. That was interesting. We uh, beat the captain. <laughs> oh my word! Shit! Where did that come from? Wow! This looks just like the bridge on Captain Cosmos. Soma, you go stand over there. Mr. Elliot, you're there. Halson, you can be Jangles the Moon Monkey. And I get to aim the death ray. I ain't no goddamn space monkey. I've got a lock on their ship. Fire when ready. Damn it, their shields are back up at max. I never thought I'd get to do something like this. Oh, it's the samurai. We should let him in. Fine, let the Chinaman in. Could use his arm in here if it gets rough. Actually, I think he's from Japan. As you say, kindly invite the oriental gentleman with the sword to join us. Now. Oh my goodness. Hello, Samurai. Glad you're still alive. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what Stella Skyfire reporting for duty. She's Captain Cosmo's second in command, at least for the first few episodes. I think I have that ship targeted, but you'll have to find the firing control. Sir? Oh man, I don't know. A teleport jammer, maybe? Right, spaceships have those, don't they? Yeah, sure. A teleport jammer. That looks like it's working. Keep up whatever you're doing.
We need to end this fast. I won't do a work. That's the shields there. Looks like they're dropping shields to prepare for a big shot. We just keep coming. I'll get the shields up and then. If I can be seen from space, there. Sorry, from uh, from Earth. Astronaut Sally, at your service. than Captain Cosmos! I know. And you're very welcome. I think I'm gonna stay here for a while. I don't think I like it much down there anymore. And there's still a bunch of the ship I haven't seen. I'll tell you what. If I find anything really neat, I'll bring it to you. Okay? Okay! So, it's done. I'm not much for talking, so I'll get to it. I owe you. Without you, I'd be dead. Or worse. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna see if I can find a way off this thing. Yeah? No offense, but this ain't some sort of game. My whole life is over. Gone a long time ago. Sorry if I can't make light of the situation like you can. All right. Hey, I thought you should know someone must have hit a button during the fight just now. If I understood the display correctly, I think we sort of launched a homing beacon of some kind down to the surface. Landed just outside DC. I wouldn't mention it, except that I think, like I said, I'm not sure. I think it's a way to get back to Earth. Seems like there's a teleporter in the captain's quarters. I mean, I guess they're your quarters now. So I, I guess you can go home if you want. But don't worry, I, I'll stick around up here and keep an eye on things. We did it! We really did it! Oh man, I can't believe it! I never thought we'd make it. You're the best, the absolute best. I'd be dead without you, or worse. Thank you so much. 
Oh, come on. We both know you could have. I don't know. I don't really have a place down there anymore, do I? Doesn't sound like it'd suit me very well. Think I'll stick around here for a while. See if I can't figure out some of this technology. Boy, I sure hope not. But at least we know what to do with them, right? Be careful down there. I hear there's a way off this boat. I'll let you go first, just to make sure it works. And then I'm out of here. That's right. If it weren't for me, you'd be sitting in a holding cell or lying on some crazy operating table right now. You owe me big time, kid. I'm gonna see about getting off this thing. Head back to the wasteland with some new toys, maybe carve out a place for myself. Literally, if I have to. Odds are we won't be bumping into each other again, so I just wanted to say thanks. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Not really something I'm interested in doing again. Sure thing. Always good to see you. We'll be here if you need us. Find all the audio I don't even Hello there, Captain. What can I do for you? <laughs> okay. I want to know what it's like down there. Doesn't be marked off. <laughs> yeah. I think that's it. I think we've, uh, we've finished the expansion. Now, how do we get out of here? First of all, from here, okay. How do I get out of here then? <sighs> Don't tell me there's some part of the quest that we need to trigger in, like we haven't. There's a way off this boat. Astronaut. 
Not Sally, at your service. So do we fast travel from here? How do we start from here? Uh how then? Need something? We'll be. Hmm. Hang on, is it in my inventory? Is it in my inventory? Uh, what I'm thinking is, like, is it something that I've been given? Here, say what? But yeah, so I've got now I've got a marker. I've got a quest marker, so I'll tell me where to go. Oh, here. Blaster. Yeah, don't forget to pick this up as well. Because this is one of the most iconic weapons in the game. The alien Blaster. is Fallout 3 is a mothership Zeta or Zeta uh, expansion that is amazing that's really powerful so I Stick some gear away. Space 
suit. Later on, take care, it's time for now.